Okay, hello everyone. How are you? It's K. So uh, this is the 15th of June, 2022 on Wednesday. So how are you everyone? I hope you're having a great day today. So uh, let's get started and uh, see what's happening in the markets now. Um, there will be a big news, FOMC. Um, in about um, four hours from now, oh no, uh, it will be 6 p.m. UTC and this is now 2 p.m. So, yeah, in about uh, four hours, we're going to have a uh, FOMC tonight. So, um, let's see what's happening before that. I will check some charts, forex pairs, and also some other pairs, markets. Maybe we're going to check gold and also uh, some index. So, uh, yeah, let's start right now. Let's see. All right. So let me put this everything into one screen and let me switch the screen for now. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have a big news uh, is that the uh, I will be coming back to Japan to visit in July. So I'm so excited to come back. So after one year of living in Dubai, finally, uh, I will be back. So in July, um, it may be a rainy season, but uh, I can still enjoy the rain because uh, there is no rain in Dubai. So I said to miss rain for some reason. So when I come back, I can also enjoy some rain also in Japan. So most likely I will be staying in Tokyo and I think I will be back for maybe two weeks or so, maybe more than two weeks. But uh, I will upload the videos on my second channel. So if you haven't checked my second channel yet, please do from the below, from the link on the below description. And uh, always welcome to uh, check my private videos on my second channel okay so now i'm ready so let me switch the screen okay and um as a quick disclaimer as usual uh this content is all based on my own experience for educational purposes only so when you take trades please do at your own risks and also, this is live stream, so on the chat, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. And also, there are so many spamming accounts using my name and creating a fake accounts of mine on the social media, so please be careful. Okay, so let's see who's here first. Okay, again, thanks for joining everybody. Great to see you, as always. Okay, so let's see. Well, first I see uh, Binvo. Welcome to Ichimoku community. Thank you for joining here as a new member. I can see the batch new member. Thank you for joining. So after you click on the join button on YouTube, uh, what you have to do is you first come to my own web page and um, hover over services and click on Ichimo community or simply hover over Ichimo community and click how to join how to join and here in this web page you can find the instruction on how to get all the parks in the community so simply follow three steps first you click the join button on YouTube which you did already and then next join the discord group so you can simply click here, join Ichimoku Discord, and then in there, connect your YouTube account with the Discord, and you get all the perks. So uh, yeah, please uh, proceed to get all the perks. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, always let me know by email, and I can support anytime. Yeah, but again, thank you for joining. Uh, Bin Vo, and stay gold. Okay, so let's see who else is here. 
All right, come on, Fibonacci. Good to see you. And uh, Hinata, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. Thank you for uh, joining newly here. I hope you learn the depth of Ichimoku here in my YouTube channel. All right. And Cal, thank you for joining. And Mike, also good to see you. And Asif, thank you for joining too. Good to see you. And Basam, also good to see you. All right. And Nathana, also good to see you too. Thank you for joining. All right. Yeah. And everybody else, thank you for joining. Yeah. Very good to see you, everyone. I see many comments now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Let me check the charts now. Uh, all right. So let me switch to the trading view. Okay. And uh, let's see. What do we see here now? Oh, so before jumping into the markets, we had the big news in the US just earlier, uh, which was, hold on, let me put this one up. We had the uh, retail sales in the US. And actually, um, the, um, the turnout was negative. It was minus 0.3%. And previous was 0.7, and also uh, consensus was 0.2, but this time it was negative 0.3%. So usually in this case, when the result is negative, then um, this currency tends to be sold. But as a result, it looks like it was bought initially. So if we can uh, just go to the strings chart. Here, um, so here is the euro, uh, sorry, here is the currency strings. And when the news released, it was, I think it was here, USD was bought, and then euro went down, and also uh, JPY was still sideways, a pound went down, and uh, AUD keeps going up. So it looks like right now, as far as I see this uh, strings chart, I think uh, AUD USD is the strongest for its bullishness. So I will first check the AUD USD and then check some other pairs. If AUD USD is up by Ichimoku, then I think that will be a good pair to trade. So let's see if we can also talk about the entry timing for this currency pair. So AUD USD. Okay, so here is the AUD USD um, daily chart, and it looks like this is not uptrend. So today is bullish, as the strength chart mentions, but this is still a uh, retracement. So the market was near the support level yesterday, 0.6826, and I was waiting for the breakout of the support, but it looks like it hasn't happened yet. And today is retracing backwards, so uh, it's not a good market to look at. So whenever I see Ichimoku, I do look at all the lines of 5, and uh, I do look at the angle of the single span B, and the single span A, and Kijun Sen. These are my main three lines that I focus, single span B, A, and Kijun Sen. And I also look at the Tenkan Sen as the supportive purpose. Uh, supportive means uh, I, I look at that Tenkan Sen is either up above or below the Kijun Sen. If it's below the Kijun Sen, that means that's bearish. But right now, Tenkan Sen, the blue one, is above the green Kijun Sen. So technically, this is still range. The market most likely won't break the support in this momentum. And also, Chikospan is also important. Chikospan sometimes keeps tracing the previous candles like this. So in this case, you don't really uh, take trace. Or you can simply uh, take trace towards a Chikospan and the previous candles direction. As long as it traces, the market most likely goes towards that direction. So, technically, that's possible. But, uh, 
yeah, I mainly look at the Senkospan BA and Kijunsen angles and the locations. So again, for now, AUDUSD today is bullish, but uh, overall is range in terms of Ichimoku. So I will simply stay away and check some of the charts. Yeah, so any interesting markets today, everyone? Any pairs watching or any pairs trading at this moment right now? If yes, then uh, just please let me know. Maybe uh, we can uh, check together. So let's see. Oh, Anneluk says, uh, when 4 hour and daily is bearish, but 5 minutes bullish, do we go short? Yes, you have to always follow the major direction. That will be the short. Yes. Five minutes in, in that case, most likely it will be retracement. Okay. Yeah, thanks for joining everybody. Great to see you as always. I can see many comments now. All right. Uh, I see one comment about the BTC, Bitcoin from TSM. So let's check on that. I have covered the Bitcoin being bearish for the previous live streams, but let's see which way it's going today. So BTC USD and the daily chart. Oh wow, looks like it's yeah, it has been going down all the way. Looks like. So if you can remember what I was saying before, since um, the market was almost bearish and the candlesticks were going down and it was about to break the support and also weekly i was also mentioning that the weekly is bearish weekly um senko span b down a down and kijun sen down tenkan sen is also down and chiko span below candles so i said that this is bearish on the weekly chart basis as per ichimoku kinko hyo and that's why I was expecting the market breaks the support of the range between 32,355 and 27,972. And looks like uh, on 12th of June, it broke the support. And also um, on the 13th of June, it broke the, the swing low. So obviously, this is bearish. In this case, I will never buy, but I will continuously looking for the sell chance so let's see um let me check also the four hour yes looks like four hour is continuously bearish it has been resisted by the tenkan sen many times so four hour is continuously downtrend so yeah in this case i always look for the sell chance yeah this is the BTC is now continuously bearish, so never buy, is my opinion. Yeah, but I never trade, I never trade cryptos, so I'm not really sure what's happening behind. But if this were the Forex, I would always sell. All right, yeah, thanks for joining everybody. Again, good to see you. Yeah, all right. Um, Kedrarud says uh, NZD USD, please. All right, let me check that. AUD NZD. Let me switch back to the Forex. And I think I have it here. Okay. So NZD USD, it broke the support. Right, it broke the support. Hold on, let me just delete all these lines. It broke the support yesterday, and now it's retracing backwards. This is a daily time frame. And as for the daily chart, you can see that the Kumo flat, Kumo Senko Span B is flat, Senko Span A is also flat, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both flat, and Chiko Span has been tracing the previous candles. So, what happens here is that from here, the market goes up this way. And also the fact that the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Senko Span AB all flat. My guess is that the market will be supported and retrace back to the Kijun Sen on the daily chart. 
So I will be looking for the buy and target to the daily Kijun Sen, which is 0 0.6384. Yeah, that is my view. So I put a small upper row like this. In this case, I will continuously look for the buying edge. So that's the NDD USD. Okay, Hussein says got 80 pips on gold. Okay, wow. Gold has been ranging, so yeah, it was good that you took some pips on gold. Yeah, I would be staying away from gold because it's range on the daily chart. Okay, so let me see what else you can find. Okay, Captain says uh, Euro JPY broke bearish of bear flag formation on the one hour chart. Let me check the Euro JPY. Okay, so I always check the daily time frame and then put it down to the lower time frame. So first, as for the daily chart, it's now flat range. Um, because uh, Kumo is up. Senko Spam A is angle up so kumo itself is bullish but kijun sen is flat so um this is technically range so we never know which way it goes it may go up or down we can't really tell which way it's going and also let's see so you mentioned in the one hour chart okay so as for the one hour chart um yeah, okay, so it broke the neckline of double top. So now it's bearish. Yeah, it's bearish. So, yeah, um, in this case, I would wait for, um, yeah, wait for the break of the Kumo, which is happening right now, and also break of the Doji. So, Doji support is 140.07 so once it breaks i think the market goes down to the support around 139.39 that will be the strategy to take but that will be also most likely intraday or scalping so yeah for me this is the market to stay away Yeah, looks like it's a range overall so yeah it might be a bit tricky to 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 take a trade okay turtle fx says uh hi k what is your thought on audc ad things all right so let me check so before I proceed let me mark on the ones that i cover because sometimes i forget which one I covered already so i've covered the euro jpy and ndd usd and then now we're moving on to AUDCAD. So AUDCAD is over here. Okay, so again, coming up to the daily time frame, looks like it's retracing back to the Kijun Sen now. So it broke the support level uh, yesterday, but today it retraced back all the way back to. The daily Kijun Sen, which is 0 0.9014. And um, the weekly chart is uh, still a range. The market has been supported once, twice, and three times. And this week is a pin bar. So, yeah, uh, next week could be bullish. That is my view. And the daily chart retracing back to the Kijun Sen, so it's bullish. And also, I look at the one hour. And one hour shows that there is a Sanyaku Koten signal. Sanyaku Koten means that first, you see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen twist, and then Chikou Span break, and then Kuma breakout. So once the market breaks the Kuma bullish, I think the market goes up to the daily Kijun Sen. Um, 
but before that, there was a resistance level on 0.9009. There was a support and the previous resistances. So it may be resisted and then continuously goes up this way. Yeah, or after the breakout, it may test and then it goes up this way too. So when the market reaches around 0.9009, the market may be tricky. So to be safer, you want to wait for the breakout and buy afterwards. Kuma has twisted nicely too in one hour. So yeah, this market can be bullish after the Kuma breakout. And let's see. AUD, CAD. So AUD has been bullish. CAD has been weak today. So from the strength chart. So I guess uh, this is one of the good pairs to trade right now. Yeah. So let's see. All right. Hello, Gabby. Thank you for joining. And XAUUSD, please. Yeah, let me see. So XAUSD has been in range. I checked this pair. I checked this uh, chart a couple of hours ago. And uh, gold continuously being in range. So uh, right now, this is a daily chart. Kuma flat. Right when you look at the single span B flat. A is also flat. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen both flat. Chikou span is too close. So the market may go up and down and we never know which way it goes this is range so to take a trade i would wait for the support level breakout support means um 18.04.70 once the market breaks that level i think that will be bearish so i wait for that breakout but if you go up the if the market goes up uh there is a tenkan sen kijun sen and kumo in the daily chart so the market may be choppy continuously, just like previously, like this. Even if you see the market goes up like this afterwards, it may be choppy. And you may not be able to, uh, you know, get big pips in the market. So again, if it goes up, no trade. If it breaks the support, then I think that will be a good timing to sell. So that's the XAUUSD. Let me check the one hour. Yeah, one hour is also continuously range. No trends. Right now, the price is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo. Chikou span touching. Kumo flat and squeezing. So, uh, this is not a good chance to trade. Yeah. But I think this is still bearish because this part of the Kumo is very thick. And whenever you see the thick Kumo like this, the market tends to be resisted and go down this way. So it may test the Kumo uh, once or twice in the future, but I think every time it will be resisted and the market goes down this way. Yeah, so looks like from the Ichimoku viewpoint in one hour, this is bearish for me. And also Chikou Span started to be tracing the previous candles so as a, as long as it traces it becomes bearish also so yeah my view is bearish on gold in the short term but in the long term we have no idea which way it's going yeah so the markets are actively moving but uh, looks like there is no good and stable trends to follow Okay, NMX says uh, ended this is wrong. All right, let me check that. So yeah, I cover these pairs as per request on the chat, but these are kind of, kind of like examples, examples of how I see charts. So now let's check the end this is wrong. First, looking at the daily chart, it's completely flat. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching. So, no trends. Looks like there was um, supports 
on uh, 0 0.6179. So it looks like this is bullish in the short term. Let me check the weekly chart. The weekly is also showing range, lots of uh, weeks up and downwards. So it shows the market is very spiky and tricky. So yeah, I will wait for the break of the support around 0 0.6179 or around 0 0.6168. And then once it breaks support, I will sell. Yeah, that will be the only timing I take a trade in that case. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, JR says a Bitcoin oversold. Bitcoin is uh, not oversold, actually. Okay, coming back to Bitcoin. This is not oversold because the Kumo is still thick. When Kumo is thin like this, it was oversold in the market goes range afterwards. But the Kumo is looking okay. So this is stably downtrending. This is not oversold from the Kumo shape. Yeah. So Kumo is very unique and very, uh, very uh, powerful. You know, Kumo only, not only guides you which way it's going in the long term, but also it captures the, the overbought, oversold markets. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Okay, Angel, oh, Angel of Death says uh, Dow Jones, please, K. All right. Let me check the Dow Jones. So, yeah, Dow Jones has been bearish. Today is bullish, but uh, yeah, actually, basically, uh, yesterday or the two days, for the last two days, all the stock markets are going down. So today is bullish, but I would say that still this is bearish. Below Tenkan Kijun Kumo, Chikou Span below candles. So there was a doji previously here on um, 20th of May. And the market may be resisted by the previous doji and continuously go down this way. So my view is bearish on Dow Jones still. And also uh, Nasdaq is also a similar case as Dow Jones, still bearish. The market may be resisted by the previous supports and go down this way continuously. And then S&P 500 is also bearish. Yeah, so just like I put the arrow down a couple of days ago, for me, this is still continuously bearish. Yeah, still bearish. But uh, yeah, let's see how FOMC will be reacted by these markets. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so let me check the next one from Hussein. He says, uh, please check pound USD. Okay, let's check the pound USD. Okay, pound USD daily chart is still bearish, but now it's range. And we have um, engulfing candlestick. This is an inside bar. So you can wait for the inside bar break to sell. If it breaks 1.1930, that will be a great sell chance. Um, let's see. 4 hour also looks flat range and 1 hour I'm sure it's range also yeah so my plan is to wait for the break of the support to sell on this Okay, so let's see. Paul says, uh, yesterday all time frames was going down, both Ichimoku and the candle. I sell, but soon the market goes against me. Where was I wrong? Kindly advice. 
Um, there's nothing wrong uh, by the fact that the market retraces backwards because it happens. It happens to me too. Market goes backwards after the entries. So it's just a part of the process. But uh, my question is, uh, are you trading on the range market? If it was range, then uh, yeah, it may retrace. Or even if it's trending, trending down on the uh, on the on all time frames, afterwards it retraces backwards, and it still happens because uh, there is nothing hundred percent. So I would say it was nothing wrong. It just happened. So the the point is not to lose big. As the market retraces, you have to exit and cut the loss as soon as possible with a reasonable place so that uh, you exit without big losses and uh, you monitor the chart and afterwards you may see some other chance and you take it and these future profits and cover the previous small losses is a key. So. As long as you manage your risk management, there's nothing wrong when the market goes against you. Okay, so let's see what else we have here now. Okay, um, A. Siresta says a pound JPY, please. All right, let me check the pound JPY also. So pound JPY daily chart is now on the Kumo now. And Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, which span is too close to candles, so it's range. No trends right now. Today is doji. And uh, so the market has all the way came back to the Kijun Sen. So now we have no, no uh, directions on this. It may go up and down. We're not sure, so we have to wait until we see the new trends. Even 4 hour is range, so we have to wait for the next direction. Um, I say 4 hours range, but this is bearish because the price is below the Tenkan Sen. And also, the market has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen once, twice, and three times. So uh, this time, it may be resisted again and continuously go down this way. So if the market breaks the support level, which is um, 161.25, that will be a great sell chance, in my opinion. So I put the down arrow below the price level, so that we know after the breakout, that will be a great setting chance. So like this, you know, always remember to pinpoint these key levels if the market breaks the support here then you know Kumo will be down Jun Sen will be down Tenkan Sen will also be down which calls by remains below the candles so that's a good sign to sell so in this way you can plan ahead and uh, create the future scenarios like this Okay, so next one is uh, Kuong. He says CAD run. All right, let me check the CAD run. Okay, again, CAD run is a range too. Daily chart. Daily chart. Kijun said is now flat, but uh, and Chikou span is about to touch candles. Kumo is bullish. Tenkan Sen is bullish, but Kijun Sen flat. So this is looks like range now. In the 4 hour chart is also range, the price is exactly into Kumo now, so no directions on this. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> okay, TSM says uh, one question, uh, if I become a member now, I can often get crypto analysis from them because I wanted to take out 
uh, subscription now. Um, so your question is, uh, will you get the crypto analysis in the Ichimoku membership community? Um, so there will be three times membership live stream per week. And uh, yeah, when you join and when you join the membership live, and if you can ask me the crypto analysis, then I'm always welcome to share the analysis. And there are also lots of other traders who are interested in the Bitcoin and other cryptos in the Ichimoku community. So you can discuss these markets with other Ichimoku members. Yeah, okay. All right, Gabby, you're welcome. And uh, TSM, you're welcome also. Okay, uh, Angel says, what is the best time frame to swing? The best time frame to swing is definitely the daily chart, daily time frame. So daily time frame is a base. And then you have higher and lower time frames. So always check the daily time frame first. And then from there, you, you take it higher time frames or the lower time frames. Okay, Captain, you're welcome. Yeah, Thierry, that's right. Yeah, AUD looks good. From the strength chart, AUD has been all the way up. So, yeah, AUD is becoming very strong. And then USD is weak and Euro is also weak. And CAD is also weak today. And the other currencies are now in sideways. So I think uh, we can only focus on the AUD pairs to trade. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me check some of the comments now. Okay, Beyond Game says, uh, don't you consider the highly impact FMC this afternoon, like in pairs like NZD USD, even if now might retrace with the positive FMC for USD for determine a big move for the dollar? Yeah, that is possible. That is possible. Yeah, but usually before these big news, like FMC or rate decisions, policy meeting, before this big news, market tends to be quiet. Because if they trade, then uh, you may get stop, stopped out, you know, very quickly at the news. So usually, um, the market tends to be quiet, especially FMC and also no farm payrolls in the US. And so it looks like that's why right now, all the markets are either retracing or ranging. Yeah, people won't be aggressive right now before the news. Um, I haven't covered the AVD USD, so let me just share my view on this one. AVD USD, this is a daily time frame. I think the market goes up to the Kijun Sen on the daily chart. So my view is bullish. Because um, now Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And also Chikou Span has been tracing the previous candles. So looks like it bounces and goes up in target to the Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen on the daily chart is um, 0 0.7055. So if you buy it, that will be the target for this. So this is the retracement back to the Kijun Sen. As a Ichimoku nature, whenever you see the Kijun Sen flat, the market tends to retrace back to the Kijun Sen. So Kijun Sen acts like a magnet to the candles. If you look at the previous chart, every time when you see Kijun Sen flat, you see the market retraces back to the Kijun Sen. In this case, it hasn't touched the Kijun Sen yet, but at least the market retraces and then it goes towards major direction. Here too, Kijun Sen became flat. So the market retraces back to Kijun Sen 
And then here too, Kijun Sen became flat and the market retraces backwards. So now Kijun Sen remains flat. So again, my view is the market retraces back to Kijun Sen. This is also a very effective strategy when you see the range market in this way. So you can look at the lower time frame and capture exact entry timing. Yeah, Jeremy, I have covered already the Bitcoin. It's going down, so uh, it's bearish. Yeah, Rosa also says uh, if 10k is available on the Bitcoin, yeah, it's possible. The markets keep going down. So as long as it keeps going down, the market can go down to, uh, to any place. Okay. Okay. So let me check some other charts now. Okay, let's see. Cal says, uh, Hi K, what do you think about the USCC's rank? Uh, USCC's rank is now, I think it's uh, range. Uh, yeah, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So the market is bullish, but um, the resistance is very close 1.0064. So today or tomorrow, it may retrace, and back to Kijun Sen is my view. Yeah, in this case, I don't think the market breaks uh, resistance. Chikospan also has been tracing the previous candles. So maybe in three days or so, the market may go bearish, is my view. But if the market breaks uh, resistance 1.0064, then I will look for the buying edge. So now I put the upper row above the resistance. If it breaks, I would be prepared to buy. But if not, if the market starts to go down sometime this week or next week, then I will target to the Kijun Sen. 0 0.9801. That is my analysis. But uh, yeah, looks like we have uh, many like a uh, retracement and range before the FMC, so not really a good timing to trade right now. I think I will simply stay away and come back tomorrow. So here is also the USDJPY. Our daily chart is bullish because the Kumo is up and Kijun Sen is also up, Tenkan Sen is also up, and the Chikou span above candles, plus there was a breakout yesterday of these uh, three previous dojis. So, USJPY, in my view, is still bullish. I think the market continuously goes up this way. But uh, in the mid time frames, like one hour is flat, and 30 is also flat. I have been away from this pair today, but my view on the long term is still bullish. And also in Japan, it's a negative interest rate right now. So Japan's interest rate is negative and USD's interest rate keeps going up. I think uh, today's FMC also announced that the interest rate in the US will keep increasing most likely. In that case, uh, this USDJPY will continue to be bullish, is my view. Yeah. So fundamentally speaking, and also Ichimoku technical analysis both shows it's bullish. So that is my view. Okay.
Ja, ja, ja. Okay, I see so many comments about the gold again. So, <laughs> let's see. So gold, let me cover this again. Gold is now range on the daily chart. Uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou Span touching, so it's range. So we have no idea which way it's going. But my plan is to sell after the break of 1804.70. Yeah, if the market breaks that level, I think I will sell. For now, I stay away. And as for the weekly chart, this is also range. The market is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, Chikou Span touching. So, yeah, better to stay away. The daily is flat, 4 hour is also flat, 1 hour is also flat range. So there is no point to trade on this one. Okay, so let's see. Oh, SU says, Hi K, what is the cost of the next global trading school, October to December? Um, you can come to my web page over here and uh, click on the below description about the GTS and you can find all the info about what you can get on the GTS and also the price. And if you have any questions, please uh, let me know by email. And we're always happy to answer any questions about this. So GTS is my hands-on training, up to five members in the group for the three months training course. And here I teach my strategy, KTS, and also money management, psychology management, and also the spreadsheet that I usually share every month end. The spreadsheet will be given to the GTS members. And for my Ichimoku community, this is more to study the original Ichimoku teachings, like time cycles, price theory, wave theory, or uh, some basic Ichimoku five lines. That's here. So they are a bit different. Okay. Okay, Freddy says, uh, now I understand when Kijun Sen is flat, then it's a cold price. Always will retrace. Am I correct, sir? Uh, not always, not always. Even if, uh, even if you see Kijun Sen flat like this, sometimes it goes down. Like here, in this example, Kijun Sen is flat. Junsen was flat here, so the market initially became range, but then it goes down. It happens too. But uh, so probability-wise, when you see Tenkan, when you see Kijunsen and Kumo down, that's when most likely the market goes down continuously this way. But when you see Kijunsen flat and Kumo flat, that means the direction is 50-50. So if the direction is 50-50, that means if the market doesn't break support, it goes up to Kijun Sen, is the idea. So technically not always, but uh, it tends to happen, is my answer. Yeah, like previously too, Kijun Sen became flat. So the market was range. This was the inside bar. The market was range. And then afterwards, Kijun Sen went up. So exactly on this one hour, it was bullish. And then Kijun Sen started to be flat. So this is where the buyers and sellers become 50-50 chance, 50-50 power balance. So the market may have gone up or retraced back to the Kijun Sen. But when you see Kijun Sen up or down, it will never come back to the Kijun Sen. Unless the market is too close, it will never come back to the Kijun Sen. That's the essence of Ichimoku.
Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, but looks like uh, markets are now range. I think uh, this is not really a good timing to trade. Let me check some other charts now. Uh, Euro Swiss run. Let me see. I will just check the daily time frame quickly. So USDJPY is bullish continuously. That's good. Uh, you see CAD is also flat. You see Swiss franc is also... Yeah, this is near resistance. So I wait for the break to buy. And let's see. Uh, pound USD is uh, very close to the support. But uh, this is now engulfing inside bar. So I wait for the break of the support. 1.1930 and sell. And pound JPY is also flat right now on the daily chart. Pound CAD is also engulfing candle. But this is bearish. Below the Tenkan Sen is bearish. So I wait for the break of the support and sell afterwards. 1.5479. Yeah. And also, let's see. Pound AUD is also... Yeah, it's range, basically. And pound Swiss franc is also range. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so again, this one too, it may retrace back to the, um, the Kijun Sen. Because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so it may retrace back to Kijun Sen. So the upper row will be valid. And target is going to be on uh, 1.2206. But if the market breaks support, I will continuously, I will then look for the sale chance. So that is my plan. This. And the AUDJPY is now range on the daily chart, no direction. Yesterday was doji. So whenever I see doji yesterday, I prefer to wait for the break towards either direction. Yeah, and the AUD Swiss franc is also range, exactly range in the Kumo now, so no trends. And the CADJPY is, uh, yeah, this one is also range, retracing. So Kijun Sen flat, so this may still be retracing back to Kijun Sen. This is still bearish to me, still bearish. So target is 102.49. Yeah, and for this one, uh, let's see, 4-hour chart shows that the market is about to break the Kumo. So once it breaks the Senko Span B on the 4-hour, then it goes down to the daily Kijun Sen. That is possible. And finally, Swiss franc JPY is now retracing back to Kijun Sen also. Because Kijun Sen is flat, it's retracing back to Kijun Sen. The so target is going to be 132.63. And H4, okay, H4 looks better than the CAD Swiss franc. Oh no, uh, it was a CAD JPY. Yeah, CAD JPY is still in the Kumo, so it may spike, but uh, Swiss franc JPY. It broke the Kumo already, so this is more bearish. So when you see the market breaks the support in the 4 hour, which is 134.15, then it can go down to the daily Kijun Sen, 132.63. So I think that will be a good timing to sell. So yeah, like this, I plan my trades with this Ichimoku in the lines, support level, price level, uh, support level, resistance level, and uh, I plan accordingly, like this. But as for now, just 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 as for now, I think I will just stay away. Okay.
Okay, Cal says, uh, if you're planning to sell when it's retracing back to the daily Kijun-sen, do you still look at the Kumo and Kijun-sen takes the angles? The daily would be still showing bullish Kumo shape. Uh, yeah, uh, I would wait for the angles of Tenkan Kijun Sen and also Kumo on the lower time frames. So I wait for the Kijun Sen angle down in the 4 hour and Kumo down in the 4 hour and follow downtrend until 132.63. Yeah, so because I do my analysis in multiple time frames, so that's how I decide which one and which time frame to follow or not. Yeah. Okay, Captain says uh, Euro JPY may be breaking support. All right, let me check. Um, daily chart is now still range. Four hour is. Yeah, it's uh, it's about to break. Looks like. Yeah, hold on. Let me check the one hour. Okay, one hour is about to break the doji, but we have to wait for the next four minutes. So, once it breaks, then it can go down to the next support, 139.39. Yeah, next support in the four hour. So, I put down a row. Like this. Yeah. So this is where I wait for the candle close because uh, the price, the current price is exactly on the support. So I wait for the clear support and decide what to do. If this close becomes below the previous doji, most likely the market continuously go down but uh, if it doesn't close if it doesn't close uh, below the doji then uh, this will be engulfing candle still and then the market may range for more hours and then it may break bullish afterwards so yeah this is where I wait for a close but for this one hour Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so I would follow the 30 minute. You see, 30 minute is down now. 30 minute chart is down, Kumo is looking down, Kijun Sen is also down, Tenkan Sen is down, Chikou span below candles. So I follow downtrend in the 30 minute up to 139.39. So as long as Kijun Sen down, Kumo down, I follow the downtrend, but at some point the market may retrace or range. And as it retraces the range, Kijun Sen most likely will be flat, and Kumo also most likely will be flat too. And then this is where I look for exit timing. So I don't keep trading until the market reaches the target if it doesn't reach and if it if it stops in halfway through i can exit also with some profits so but to do that i also look at the kijun sen and the kumo shape and in this example i follow the 30 minute time frame yeah cal you're welcome and uh, Captain, you're welcome too. Okay. So uh, I guess uh, I will be ending live in about uh, five minutes from now because it's, it's been one hour. So uh, yeah, looks like I just we just watch the close together to see if it becomes below or on above the support in about 
20 seconds. Okay, Freddy says, uh, Sir, what should I do to avoid the wrong entry? I usually enter, buy, sell, but the price goes to different direction. But after I cut the loss at that position, the price come back. Um, my advice is that yeah, as long as you follow your own rules with discipline, that will be fine. Yeah, after you cut the loss, after I cut the loss, Sometimes the market goes for my direction afterwards, but it's just fine with me because uh, according to my rule, I exit and then I just re-enter re the market afterwards. But if that, if that was your exit timing, you have to exit no matter what with your, uh, with your uh, exit strategy or entry strategy too. So, um, I think there is nothing wrong with the entry, but I think you have to be more precise on the exit timing, is my advice. Okay. Okay, Euro USD. Uh, let me see. Euro USD is now, I think, still flat, right? In the daily is flat. In four hours flat, so simply wait for the support break. Is a uh, euro USD. Yeah, one hour is even flat, so no direction, no trace. Okay, Karim, you're welcome. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I guess uh, that's it for today's live stream. So uh, again, thank you for joining everybody, as always. I think it uh, looks like markets are ranging, retracing. And uh, again, we, there will be FOMC uh, in about, uh, I think, uh, yeah, three hours from now. So yeah, no rush. If there's big news, simply stay away. If there is no good setups before that, simply stay away and come back tomorrow. I think that will be better. Okay. So, uh, yeah, for now, for me today, uh, the rest of the day will be my day off. So I guess I will just enjoy the rest of the day. And, uh, yeah, just relax. And enjoy, probably enjoy the sunset, enjoy, yeah on whatever I do afterwards. Yeah, so again, I will be coming back to Japan uh, next month in July. I'm so excited because I have been here in Dubai for the one year. Yeah, because uh, I came here uh, last July. July 4th, July 1st, I came here in Dubai. And I never had a chance to come back because of the COVID. I wasn't able to book the air ticket, but finally I can. So I'm going back now. So I will be there for maybe um, two weeks or so. And uh, I will take some videos and upload on my second channel. So uh, yeah, I'm very excited to do it. So I guess, okay, I think my plan for tonight is to plan a trip in Japan. I think that's what it is. All right. So again, thank you for joining. And I hope you have a, have a great day, great week. And I will see you on the next one tomorrow. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right. Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.